I have always been a fan of Digimon. I was a kid when the Digivice Virtual Pet came out and they were awesome. But then Pokemon happened and Digimon had a lot to compete with. But over two decades later, I think it's safe to finally say Digimon is a much better franchise. Well, the anime is better at least. I didn't play any of the Digimon games growing up and always wanted Digimon World 1 because of that cool ass cover art. But for whatever reason, I never got the game. I have played Digimon Cyber Sleuth on the Switch and that was a lot of fun. But, but now that I have my Steam Deck, I wanted to finally dive into the world of Digimon. World 3. And like that sentence, it's a lot. Digimon World 3 came out on the PS1 in the summer of 2002. It is a very grindy RPG. It's so hard, in fact, to figure out what to do that the creators of the game told everybody to buy the guidebook when it came out. But when you try to get yourself a copy now, it's $80 on eBay. Luckily, some god tier Digi Destin scanned every page and uploaded the guidebook to archive.com, which I've linked below if anyone wants to go old school with their Digimon World 3 journey. But while I was playing this beautifully pixelated Digimon game, it made me yearn to watch the anime again. And if you don't know by now, the Digimon anime follows a group of kids who are at summer camp when they get sucked up into the digital world and meet their Digimons and set out on a crazy journey as a Digidestined to save both the digital and the real world from this crazy evil vampire Digimon guy. And like Pokemon when it first premiered, Digimon became a global and cultural phenomenon. But after season three, it lost its popularity and started fading off while Pokemon still continued to take over the world. After two decades, I think it's safe to say that the first three seasons of Digimon's anime truly outshine anything the Pokemon anime has released in its entire run with Ash. With Pokemon, we get a story following a goofy loser named Ash Ketchup who's trying and failing constantly at becoming a Pokemon master. Hell, it just took him 25 years to finally win the damn thing, but with Digimon, you get a more mature story. There's a real sense of danger as these kids are thrusted into a crazy unknown world filled with these monsters and shit. They thought they were gonna get to swim in a lake all summer and eat macaroni salad and hot dogs and finger blast some girl they'll never see again. But no, they are stuck having to not just save this random world, but end up having to save their entire world. As if that's not a lot to deal with, each Digidestin has their own problems going on. Matt and TK's parents are divorced, causing Matt to have a chip on his shoulder, making him a massive dick, and TK is shelter baby. Sora caught her dad cheating on her mom with her soccer coach. Joe is a neurotic nerd. Izzy is a tech nerd. And Mimi is a spoiled brat. Also, there's Ty who wears these cool ass goggles on his head, and he has a little sister named Kari. And if all of their problems weren't heavy enough, in the second Second season, we meet the ultimate emo badass Black War Greymon, a Digimon created from a hundred of these evil control spire things that this ugly ass, kind of hot gothic spider woman Digimon made. Black War Greymon questions his existence throughout his story like a My Chemical Romance fan, and eventually he can't take the pain of being alive anymore. He offs himself to save the day. That's right, Digimon die in this anime. In fact, it happens more than once with Leomon and Wizardmon dying, which were both so gut wrenching to watch as a fucking 11 year old kid. It was probably the saddest thing I had ever experience until 9-11 happened a year later. While all this is going on, Ash is getting his goofy ass set on fire by his Charizard that won't listen. The two animes are not the same. The Digidestins have to actually work to overcome their issues and learn from their mistakes they've made throughout the series. There's real character growth here, and I'd say it's pretty deep for a kid show. Digimon, though, is a very convoluted franchise. There's thousands of Digimon, way more than Pokemon, and their trading card game is damn near impossible to figure out how to play. And merch is sometimes hard to come by. Heck, you won't find a five foot tall Agumon Squishmallow in Target anytime soon. But I think that is the charm of Digimon. It's not this polished machine that Pokemon has become. You can walk into any store today and find something with Pikachu on it, where with Digimon, you have to actually seek out the item you want. And when you randomly run into something Digimon related, it's a nice surprise. So if you're looking to get into an anime that takes you on a crazy emotional journey with lots of twists and turns and character growth and depth and has a great payoff, watch Yu Yu Hakusho. show.